today we will be discussing the topic of diabetic retinopathy hello everyone this is dr apoor grover with your retina consultant at vision eye centers now what causes diabetic retinopathy it is seen that abnormal accumulation of high blood glucose and its waste products in the blood vessels of the body and in the eye causes damage to small blood vessels in the retina or the neural tissue at the back of the eye responsible for our vision the small blood vessels in the retina may become leaky may become obstructed or abnormal new vessels may start growing on the surface of the retina all these changes may produce a loss of vision in the patients how diabetes affects your vision and what are the stages of diabetic retinopathy in the initial stages it is seen that the diabetes does not affect our vision it can only be detected on dilated fundus evaluation by a trained retina specialist or a trained ophthalmologist over time however it is seen that the blood vessels in the central part of the retina or the macula they become leaky they start leaking fluid and blood into the center of the eye causing damage to the blood vessels and causing damage to the vision over time these small blood vessels in the center of the retina may become obstructed causing permanent structural changes to the retina or abnormal new vessels may start growing on the surface of the retina which may bleed into the eye causing a loss of vision when it progresses to this stage the diabetic retinopathy this stage is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy these abnormal new vessels may also start growing on the surface of the iris causing obstruction to the fluid flow from the eye causing abnormally high pressure levels in the eye leading to a situation called neovascular glaucoma which causes damage to the optic nerve the abnormal new vessels on the surface of the retina may proliferate further to produce scar tissue and this scar tissue may tug on the surface of the retina causing a situation called tractional retinal detachment and this may be another cause of loss of vision in these patients now what are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy and how will a patient pre- with diabetic retinopathy present to us it is seen that in the early stages diabetic retinopathy is asymptomatic and the vision of the patient is actually very good therefore it is important that they undergo periodic eye checkup wherein even with normal vision changes can be detected in the fundus of the patient which may signal early diabetic retinopathy if diabetic retinopathy at this stage is managed early and diabetes and hypertension cholesterol or other systemic conditions are managed well the symptoms may not progress further and the patient may never develop a loss of vision however if the disease is allowed to progress further the patient may present with visual symptoms which may vary from blurring of vision wherein the letters the patient is trying to read or the faces that the patient looks towards may appear blurry the letters may appear distorted the colors may appear faded when there is bleeding in the eye the patient may present with sudden onset of floaters or a shower of floaters in the eye which can progress to complete vision loss in certain cases there may be patchy areas or dark areas in the field of vision these are the common symptoms that a patient with diabetic retinopathy presents with now what are the management strategies or treatment for a patient with diabetic retinopathy it is of utmost important importance that uh, the a patient with diabetic retinopathy maintains a good level of blood glucose level along with blood uh, sugar control other factors such as hypertension or blood pressure systemic cholesterol levels should be well controlled so that the disease does not progress further and does not cause any damage to the vision once the disease has progressed to a stage where it is threatening our vision the ophthalmologist will have a look at the retina and will advise the best treatment modality for that particular stage of the disease the treatment modalities may vary from certain injections in the eye called anti vascular endothelial growth factor or anti vegf injections or certain laser treatment in the eye 
These treatment modalities are aimed at reducing the leakage from abnormal blood vessels in the retinal area and to cause shrinkage of abnormal new vessels in the retina so they do not proliferate further and cause vision loss in these patients. Once the disease has progressed to an advanced stage, a certain surgery called vitrectomy surgery may be required to clear the blood and scar tissue from the eye in order to restore vision of the patient. To summarize, it is important that a patient with diabetes undergoes a periodic eye checkup so that any diabetic retinopathy which has developed can be detected early and where required treatment if initiated early along with good systemic control of diabetes can help to prevent permanent vision loss in these patients.